KNDY. Hello and welcome into Barton County Community College in Great Bend, Kansas. It is Saturday of the state tournament here for Class 1A Division 2. Max Blasky along with you for the ride on AM 1570 FM 94.1 and the free KNDY FM mobile app and online at KNDYradio.com. It is the Axel Eagles and the, we'll get her here in just a second, and the Dighton Hornets. Tipping off here in the third and fourth place game from Class 1A Division 2 on a Saturday morning. Dighton came into this tournament the number one overall seed, 72, or excuse me, 22 and 1, but they were upset in semifinal round action by four seeded Cunningham, 61 to 58. As for the Axel Eagles, they are the number two seed in this tournament. They were knocked out of the winner's bracket by Lebo last night, 45 to 38, in a game that saw Axel shoot 25% from the fleet field, saw Axel score nine points in the first half for a team that on the season averages over, or close to, excuse me, 60 points per game. We're going to get action underway here with Axel over on our sister station, AM, or excuse me, FM is 95.5. The Valley Heights Lady Mustangs playing in the third and fourth place consolation game there. Of course, you can hear Bruce Deerking on that call. We did have to move K-State basketball, so we'll try and get you updates throughout the afternoon as we go through on it. But it's going to be a jam-packed day here at KNDY. We have Axel Boys and Valley Heights Girls here at noon, and then two TBL Girls Championship games later for you on this evening. The Frankfurt Lady Wildcats tipping off at 6 p.m. in Class 1A Division II. That game will be right here on AM 1570 FM 94.1. Meanwhile, the Hanover Lady Wildcats will try for their second straight Class 1A Division II championship as they take on last year's opponent, the Lebo, on AM, or AM or, excuse me, FM 94.1. Switching channels here today as I'm normally over on the other station, but we're going to squared away by the end of it. We're about seven minutes away from tip-off here in this third and fourth place game between Axel and Dighton. We're going to take a timeout, preview these Dighton Hornets as we get ready for state action from Great Bend. If your vehicle is looking like it just went through a money rally race, or perhaps it's been target practice for the neighborhood bird gang, then you need to get your car washed today at the Axle Car Wash. The Axle Car Wash has two enclosed self-service bays, even one size for semi-tractors. Just pull in, pay with your bank card, and wash all the dirt, mud, bugs, and bird stuff off your vehicles. You don't have to drive far to get a clean car. Just visit the Axle Car Wash, proud supporter of the Axle Eagles. The ND Buildings of Axtell specializes in post-frame buildings. Give them a call for stud-framed buildings with complete concrete and electrical work included. It's one call to get the job done. The ND Buildings specializing in post-frame building construction, plus repairs and more. Always free estimates. Give them a call. The ND Buildings of Axtell, 785 b and Buildings at 785-294-0147. Little Joe's 66 Service in Axtell is a proud supporter of Axtell Schools and Axtell Athletics. If you have automotive repair needs, call Joe at 785-736-2824. With satisfied customers from all over the area, Little Joe's 66 Service is the place to turn for all of your automotive repair needs. For all of your heating, air conditioning, plumbing, electrical, and excavation services, there's only one call to make. Eagle HVAC and Heating. Formerly Dave's Hardware in Axtell, the guys at Eagle HVAC and Heating look forward to continuing the success Dave built over the years. Offering all heating, ventilation, air conditioning needs, as well as carrying a wide variety of name brand appliances. They do plumbing and electrical, as well as excavation service. Give Eagle HVAC and Heating a call today in Axtell. Max Blasky back with you here on this Saturday morning as we get high school basketball action underway here on KNDY. It is a full-slated schedule over on our sister station, FM 95.5. Bruce Deerke has the calls. The Valley Heights Lady Mustangs aim for a third-place finish out in Class 2A. Well, later on this afternoon, we will have championship action. Frankfurt Lady Wildcats right here on AM 1570 FM 94.1. Meanwhile, the Hanover Lady Wildcats will be over on FM 95.5 as both of these teams, those teams try and take home 
Pinnacle Championship tonight on a Saturday. It is the one-two matchup in front of us here in the third and fourth place game. Top seeded Dighton and second seeded Axel both got knocked out by lower seeds last night. It will be Cunningham and Lebo in the state tournament game later on this afternoon at 4 o'clock. But Axel looking to revenge a, I don't want to say a slow finish to state last year, but the Axel caught, bounced out last year too by Lebo, met up with South Central in the third and fourth place game. And got handled 59-45 to 45 in that one. So looking for a little redemption tonight versus Dighton. Taking a look at these Dighton Wolves as they come into this contest. They were the top seed 22-1 and one on the season. Their own loss came to 1A Division I qualifier Quinter, who they also beat twice this year too as well. This program had its first state berth since 2016. And a little history there. Head coach for this Dighton Wolves team. Tyler Ling was a senior on that team back in 2016. So taking his senior class to state and then coming back as a coach here. And I think I heard his first or second year here at Dighton. Dighton is led by big man inside Carson Shiner, who had himself a heck of a night the other evening. 26 points, 18 rebounds for the big man down low that will go with 6-4. Also had six blocks to go and walk along with those points and rebounds in that three-point loss, though, to Cunningham the other night. Last night, Axel dealt with a big man of their own and didn't fare too terribly well. So the Eagles will be looking for a little bit better execution offensively in a game that they only scored 38 points for the Axel Eagles team. Elsewhere for Dine, it will be Scheimer down low, but also along with him, Daniel Kramer, the junior guard, went over 1,000 points in his career in sub-state the other night. He averages 16 points per game, while George Vaughn Leonrod averages 7 points and 4 rebounds per game. So this is a balanced team that is led by the big man inside Reamer but had the ability to shoot it. They had a tight game with Cunningham the other evening, just fell short in that one. So a battle-tested team, a hungry team, but so is this Axel Eagles squad after last night's loss. A big thank you to our sponsors tonight, too, as well, making this broadcast possible. B&D Buildings, Axel Car Wash, Little Joe's Service, Eagle HVAC and Plumbing, Western National Bank, Axel Trust, s and Insurance of Seneca, Moonlight Restoration, Hometown Lumber of Marysville and Axel Lumber, Rob Olmstead, Olmstead Real Estate Group, Little Steps Dance Studio and Blue Valley Technologies, Kramer Oil, Kettle Creek Outdoors of Randolph, Blue Valley Trailers, Highland Community College, JD Construction, Landall Company, and Kinsley Mortuary. It is high school basketball action here this afternoon on KNDY. We're going to take one more break, bring you back starting lines for this contest between Dighton and Axel. Western National Bank in Summerfield wants you to feel good about where you are with your money. Available when you need them and offering online and personal services, Western National Bank will make sure to keep you and your money happy. Call Western National Bank at 244-6211 to make your money smile. Member FDIC. For engineered roof and floor trusses, call on Axtel Truss. 12 to 80 foot span. Complete hip, cathedral, and floor systems using only the best SYP available. Deliver to your site undamaged on a roll-off trailer. Manufactured locally at Axtel Truss on US Highway 36, two miles west of K110 between Seneca and Marysville. Phone 785-736-2291. Blasky back with you here from a great Ben preview in this Axel and Dighton team. Axel coming off a loss, 38 to 45 the other night versus Lebo. Eli Brockman, 16 points. The wide that wire, Colin Shaughnessy and Brandon Schnell, they all combined for six points in that contest. That's all the Axel offense only scored nine points in the first half of that contest and can never come back in that one. As for Dighton, they fell 58 to 61 to Cunningham the other night. Cunningham outscored Dighton 18 to 6 in the third quarter to take a late fourth quarter lead. Of course, mentioned it, Carson Scheimer, big man for the Wolves, led the way with 26 points and 18 rebounds and six blocks in that contest. It's a 
third and fourth place matchup between the top two seeds here at Class 1A Division II action. Starting lineups for you next after the National Anthem here on KNDY. Calling all ranchers and livestock owners. Safeguard your herd with livestock risk protection insurance. Protect your investment against market volatility and unexpected losses. Whether you raise cattle or pigs, ensure your livelihood with coverage tailored to your needs. Don't leave your profits to chance. Secure your future in the barn and the market. Livestock Risk Protection, because your animals and your bottom line deserve the best defense. Call SBS Insurance now to fence in your financial security. Have an accident with your vehicle? Moonlight Restoration and they'll take care of you with a free estimate and they'll turn it into the insurance company for you. You name it, they can do it. Fender Benders, Auto and Tractor Restoration, Windshield Repair or Replacement, Spray and Bed Liners, Sandblasting, Dealer and Installer of B&W Hitches and Drop and Lock Hitches. No job is too large or too small for Moonlight Restoration. If you want quality work done by skilled technicians, call Moonlight Restoration in Axville, Kansas. Owned and operated by Brett and Nikki Runnebaum. Call 736-23. 359. When you start a plumbing or electrical project, make sure that you have what you need to get the job done. If you don't have everything you need, Hometown Lumber in Marysville and Axel Lumber can help. Stocking a full line of electrical wiring, switches, boxes, and everything to the fixtures and even light bulbs. For that plumbing task, there's pipes, connectors and joints, faucets, toilets, and accessories. From an installation or remodel to a simple repair, get the plumbing and electrical supplies you need at one stop at Hometown Lumber in Marysville and Axtell Lumber. Since 1976, Olmstead Real Estate and Auctions has been your farm and home marketing team. Let the experienced family team of Tom and Rob Olmstead and brother-in-law Tom Kirkland guide you when buying or selling a home or farmland. Delivering timely, honest, and professional guidance, visit olmsteadrealestate.com to view current listings and auctions. Your farm and home marketing team is Olmsted Real Estate and Auctions. It is game time here from Barton Community College in Great Bend, Kansas. Winner of this game will play play third at Class 1A Division II. Eagles were able to claim the fourth place title last year after falling to South Central. 59-45. Eagles had high expectations coming into this contest. The fell last night to Levo, 45-38. to And what was a very physical game, one that Axel could not hit from the outside. They went 5-20 for 20 from the three-point line, did not attack inside either. Brandon Shelsley found out late with only four points. The bigger Colin Shaughnessy, who averages 13 points a game, was set to two points in that contest. 0 for 5 shooting. One right start was Eli Brockson and 16 points. It did take him 18 shots to get there, though. Starting lineups now for you. First for the Tiger Wolves. They are the top seed here in this contest. Entered 22-1. and one, Now set at 23-2 and two on the season. They will start number four, Austin Scheimer, a 5-6-3 junior. Number 10, Daniel Kramer, a 5-10 junior. Number 12, Carson Scheimer, a double-double machine down low at 6-4. Little Steps Dance and Gymnastics Studio opens summer class enrollment March 15th. Engage your child in a fun, active environment during the summer with tumbling, cheer, jazz, and dance classes. From ages 18 months to 18 years, enroll in summer classes at littlestepsdance.com by March 15th. bit of a technical difficulty there during the starting lineup. The Titan will go Boston Scheimer, Daniel Kramer, Carson Scheimer, Peyton Redburn, and George Vaughn Leon Rod. As for the Axel Eagles, it will be the starting lineup as it been all season. The two-seeded Axel Eagles entered this tournament 21-2. and two. They now set at 22-3 and three on the season. Eagles will go number 10, Eli Broxman, the six-foot junior. Number 12, Wyatt Detweiler, the 5'9 freshman. Number 23, Colin Shaughnessy, six-foot sophomore. Number 25, Brandon Schmelzley, 6'2", junior, and number 34, Grady Bussing, 6'2", junior. Eagles are, of course, led by head coach Jason Tynan and are looking for their best finish of state in two years. Meanwhile, Dighton looking for their best finish in school history. They finished fourth under head coach 
Tyler Wing in 2016. It will be Schmelzley and it will be Kramer in the jump circle, or excuse me, Scheimer in the jump circle. Knighton, the home team, in their road white. Orange Hornets and numbers across their chest. Meanwhile, Axel, your home team, will be in their road blues. White Axel, white numbers on their chest and back. Good Axel crowd, good Knighton crowd. Knighton about an hour and a half away here from Great Bend. But a good start to the day here on a Saturday. A jam-packed championship Saturday on Candy Line starts with these Axel Eagles. First tip of the game will go to Knighton as Scheimer got his hand above that before Smells really good. So the Eagles looking to get their offense back in a flow. Last night, well documented, nine points in the first quarter. Offensive rebound, second shot here for Dyton. Right out of the gate, went right to the rim with Daniel Kramer. Misses the first one, three ball now from Kramer again. Shaughnessy, good defensive board on that one. Mac now comes Axel on the offensive side. And now a double dribble by Eli Brockstrom, and here in the corner will be the first turnover of the game. Eagles turned it over only 11 times. A low turnover team all season, but they just could not find a way to score a bucket last night. Going up against the big Zach Oswald of Lido, stood about 6-3. Eagles just didn't seem confident in attacking the big man down low. Talking to a few people before the game of high school basketball has changed. We don't see the dominant big man that we used to. I, I guess that I was kind of back in high school there. So kind of a different style of play that the Eagles are seeing here. Knight will be in a 2-3 zone. We're going to go Smellsley high. We're going to go raise the listing low. Left elbow, first touch here for Brandon Smellsley. Only four points in the loss last night. And the foul out. Swings around. Brockman, can he get it going? No, misses the first three. But offensive rebound, Colin Shaughnessy. And that will be big here for the Eagles tonight to get on the board. Shaughnessy gets it back for three left wing. And he cans it. Colin Shaughnessy gets us going with a triple here tonight, and that's a good sign for this Axel Eagles squad. Shaughnessy, two points in the game the other night after erupting versus Beloit St. John's. Well, not erupting, I guess, but for 11 points, a solid player all year. Shot a three for seven from the line in that first game, and Axel had the offense rolling, but got stopped last night by a heady Lebo team. Of course, Levo will take on Hanover in the girls' championship later over on AM 50, or over on FM 95.5. So both Levo boys and Levo girls in the championship here in Great Men. Second turnover now for Dyton on the outside. We'll give it back to Axel. Max Blasky along with you here for the ride this afternoon. Game today on AM 1570 FM 94.1. Of course, in the free KNDY FM mobile app and online at KNDYradio.com. Shaughnessy's going to fire up a deep three. That was about 28 feet. Brandon smells the offensive rebound, but blocked down low by Peyton Redburn. Kicks it out. Shaughnessy three. Hands that one. If it first you don't succeed, try, try again. Colin Shaughnessy two for three from behind the arc to start this contest and equals up 6 nothing early on. Daniel Kramer looks at head coach Tyler Wing. Wing was the senior on the last time the Stein squad got to state back in 2016. It was a fourth place finish, their best finish in school history. Answering on the other end is Daniel Kramer. Now a steal at the other end, throwing it down is Daniel Kramer. Back-to-back buckets now for the guard. Back the other way, Eagles trouble with it underneath their basket. Smellsley throws it up. It's going to be an over the backboard, kind of an interesting play there for the Eagles. Smellsley tried to save it out of bounds, went over the backboard, so it'll be a turnover axle. Early 6-4 lead here for Axel as we enter the first five minutes of the contest. It is a jam-packed day. High school action here on KNDY. Of course, over on our broadcast right now, Valley Heights Lady Mustangs in the third and fourth place game. Later on today, right here, you will hear the Frankfurt Lady Wildcats vying for a state title. Good passing, and Grady Bussing is going to finish this one off. Axel moving that ball against this zone here for Dyton early on. Quickly back the other way, 12-foot shot is down and good by Boston Scheimer. Junior puts it down, had a good season for the senior. Leads the team in 18 points per game, 9.5 rebounds, and 2 blocks per game. Two big players there in Shimer. 
and Kramer. Brandon Schmelsley gets his first bucket from the short corner on the good pass there from Shaughnessy. Back-to-back assist now at the other end. About 17 pull up by Daniel Kramer. Back-to-back we go. Already more points in the first five minutes than we all saw in the entire first half last night. It is 10 to 10-8. That's still leaning here early on first quarter action. Third and fourth place game. Last game of the high school season. Of course, a young Axel team, the two Busting Cousins, will be the only ones gone after this year. Shaughnessy about a 27-footer again, letting it fly. Made the comment last night here at Barn. Of course, they have the college three-point line. Saw a lot of threes from well behind that line. So high school, you got to be used to stepping up. Daniel Kramer is going to push the action, go right into the chest of Wyatt Detweiler, and he's going to be checked out after his first foul. Landon Schmelsley will check into the game, first off the bench for head coach Jason Tynan. Schirmer, a quick guard out there, saw it there. Good inbounds pass, though. Up and down for two. Peyton Redburn gets it going. Beautiful inbounds pass there from Schirmer as the 6-3 guard, or excuse me, from Daniel Kramer as the guard really gets this Dighton offense rolling. Rocksman dribbles into the corner, now kicks around, tipped out now by Kramer. Kramer gets a hand on it, but Schmelzley controls. Smellsley, other end of the corner, now tipped around. Now it's taken away by Swanroy. At the other end will be Kramer, up and down for two. Daniel Kramer through the contact, and he will go to the line for a chance at an old-fashioned three-point play. That was Colin Shaughnessy that tried to stop him. One of those you try and foul hard enough not to allow him to finish off the bucket, but not quite hard enough there for Shaughnessy. First free throw here for either squad as we get this first quarter rolling. Drops down here for Kramer. Fast moving first quarter. It is 13 to 10. All of a sudden, Dighton has taken this three point lead. Axel jumped out to a quick four to nothing lead. This has been back and forth here all game. All first quarter, I guess, as we're just getting it started. Now a backcourt violation, actually a double dribble here on Eli Brockson, and that's already his second double dribble here in this contest as these guards the last two nights have just looked out of sorts, and head coach Jason Tynan wants to talk about it. We'll take a 30-second with them. Be back after this. KNEY has been your sports leader of local teams since the days of leather helmets. Well, okay, not that long, but since the days before the Blue Valley and Nemaha Valley Leagues combined, for over 40 years, KNEY has been your source for scores, interviews, and live play-by-play action of your favorite teams all season long. The game and technology may have changed, but our coverage remains the same. KNEY, your area sports leader, on air, online, and on our mobile app. A reminder that all of our broadcasts throughout the season can be found at KNDYradio.com, whether it be football, volleyball, or basketball, state action, or regular season. Swing on over. All of those games are downloadable as a podcast, listenable to any time you want to hear a replay. At the other end, up and down for two, Daniel Kramer. The 6'10 junior having his way here early on now with nine points for the Wolves. Down low, Grady Bussing up and off the glass for two. Four points now here for the senior. He pulls his Eagles two within three. Kramer, 10 points the other night in that loss versus Cunningham. Boston Scheimer, 11 points. Here's the big man, Carson Scheimer, right on cue. Down and good for two more there for the big man. Four points now early on for the 6-4 post down low. He is a senior, as this is an experienced Dighton team that boasts four seniors. Two of them do start in Redburn and Scheimer. Three is going to be missed by Eli Brockman. Now 0 for 2 after a decent shooting night from behind the arc the other evening where he went 4 for 18. All of those were three balls, though. Led the way with Axel and 16 points in that loss last night. Screener up top gets it, and that's Redburn in the corner. Leon Roy misses that three badly. Leads to a Brandon Schmelzley run out. Down the right side of the lane, and a carry now by Brandon Schmelzley. Turnover number four unofficially here by Axel early on. Logan Sandman, the 6'3 freshman, will check in for Grady Bussing. 
talk about an experienced Dying team. This is an experienced Axel Eagles, too, team. Of course, the success on the gridiron. They were here at the state tournament last year, but still a young team in their own right. Broxman, a junior. Shaughnessy, a sophomore. Schmelsley, a junior. We'll be returning a lot of key pieces next year. Three ball up, no good. Offensive rebound. Who else? Down low, but Carson Shiner inside with the nice little put back there for the big man. Six points early on for the post. And now this ball will be tipped away. Thankfully, it'll stay with Axel. Axel had trouble last night with the big man from Lebo, Lebo Zach Oswald. So far here early on, Scheimer is having his way to the tune of four points and probably about four rebounds already, two of them being offensive. 56 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. Axel jumped out to a 4-10 lead, but ever then since, it's been 19-12 to is our score. Here's a steal now. Turnover. Daniel Kramer up the other lane. Foul hard by Eli Brocks. And then and Kramer will go to the line. Dighton just the more aggressive team out here in this first quarter. Getting out in the passing lanes. It's a 2-3 zone that they're playing, but they play it. I'll say it almost kind of like the handover girls. Those guards are walked out way to the guards, forcing pressure at any opportunity. First personal now here for, yeah, they put it on the Dighton side, but it'll go on Eli Broxman. His first personal foul free throw is down by Kramer. Substitution here is White Detweiler back in. Eli Broxman to the bench. Second one up coming now for Kramer. That one's off the rim. No good. Smelsley pulls down the board. Smelsley across the timeline, near side, into the hands of Detweiler. Kramer went for the steal, but gets it around. Rotation landed Schmidt's corner three. That one's hard off the rim. No good. Good looking shot there, though, from the Axel offense. Didn't see the ball movement last night at the other end, though. Could not get back defensively. Peyton Redburn got behind that defense, and Dighton is up 10 here in the first quarter. Eagles started off hot, but since then it's been this athletic ability of Dighton. Probably a more athletic team than Axel, and you don't say that very often in games this season. Into the corner, Smelsley looking for Sandman down low. Can't get it to him. Front fake on the three is Shaughnessy. Now Smelsley winds up a right corner three. He buries that. Bottom for Brandon Smelsley. If he can extend that range, it'll be good. Good pressure here by Smith. Will Dighton get a shot off? No, they will not. Eagles trail, though, at the end of first quarter, 22 to 15. The ND Buildings of Axtell specializes in post-frame buildings. Give them a call for stud-framed buildings with complete concrete and electrical work included. It's one call to get the job done. The ND Buildings specializing in post-frame building construction, plus repairs and more. Always free estimates. Give them a call. B and D Buildings of Axtell, 785-294-0147. B and D Buildings at 785-294-0147. If your vehicle is looking like it just went through a money rally race, or perhaps it's been target practice for the neighborhood bird gang, then you need to get your car washed today at the Axel Car Wash. The Axel Car Wash has two enclosed self-service bays, even one size for semi-tractors. Just pull in, pay with your bank card, and wash all the dirt, mud, bugs, and bird stuff off your vehicles. You don't have to drive far to get a clean car. Just visit the Axel Car Wash, proud supporter of the Axel Eagles. Axel turned it over 11 times last night in the loss to Lebo. Already six turnovers here for the Eagles. Three steals for Dine has led to six, or excuse me, six points off turnovers. No, here we go. Ten points off turnovers. There we go for Dighton here in this one. As the Wolves lead 22 to 15, Axel already scored more points than they did the entire first half last night. They were led in that first quarter by Colin Shaughnessy. Two triples to his name. Broxman, three, 28 feet. A good three steps behind the college line. Eli Broxman cans that triple. Axel now with four triples to their name here in the first half. There's a bump by Smilsley and an and one. No, they're not going to call it Daniel Kramer and one. That is a grown man move. Went left baseline, took the bump from Landon Schmidt, who is not a weak player, took the bump, faded to the left baseline for right-handed shooter, fading to the left baseline. That's a tough shot. Kramer calmly knocks down the first free throw or the lone free throw. He has 13 points already here in this contest. 
of course, led the way. Or excuse me, second in scoring this season at 16 points per game and a thousand point scorer already for the junior. He can fill up that stat sheet. Only goes five ten two as well. He uses that body well. Broxman, same spot, same result. Three feet behind the college three point line. Eli Broxman in his second triple back to back trip, and that's how Axel down by four now. And a foul will be called. If this is on Landon Schmitz, it's his second. Kramer did a good job to get past the guard. That foul will actually go on Eli Broxman. So either way, that's his second two as well. So the lone bright spot here for Axel early on, two personal fouls. Inside, beautiful play. Kramer up, no good. Offensive rebound, though. Can't finish that one there. It's Boston Scheimer. The defense by the Axels. Eagles only allow one shot on that one. Schmelzley left baseline, finds Salmon inside. Up and under for two. Walton Salmon. Beautiful passing there from Landon Schmidt. And Dighton wants the timeout. We'll take it with them. Eagles on the surge, trailing now by two. Little Joe's 66 service in Axtell is a proud supporter of Axtell schools and Axtell athletics. If you have automotive repair needs, call Joe at 785-736-2824. With satisfied customers from all over the area, Little Joe's 66 service is the place to turn for all of your automotive repair needs. Eagles 23, Dighton 25. Two minutes into the second quarter. Score update to pass along for you. Valley Heights Lady Mustangs over on our sister station, FM 94.1, playing against State Power St. Mary's Colgan, who is 23-0 entering the tournament before Independent knocked them off last night by eight points. Lady Mustangs trail at the end of the first quarter, 13-9. to Thank you to Jeff Wirtz of the TVL Spotlight for the score update on that one. Appreciate all the work. He's done all season long, football and basketball, one of the biggest unsung, unsung years for KNDY sports this season. Here's a turnover by Dighton, only their third one of the contest as Eli Broxman takes it away. Broxman walks into a three straight on, short on that one, gets his own rebound from the right elbow, kicks it out, smells the heat of three from this spot. Nope, long on that one. Salmon fighting, and he's going to call for the offensive foul on going for the rebound. This Eagles team falls in love with the three ball as physical of a squad as they are. I think personally they're better when they get to the rim and use that athletic ability of the guards. You look at the size of this Axel team versus many of the teams here at State, guards in particular just bigger than a lot of these other kids here. But so far at State, it's been the three ball that Axel has lived and died by. Here's a three ball, Daniel Kramer on the step back. No good on that one. Offensive rebound being fought for. Now Sandman pulls away with the defensive board. Daniel Kramer already here with 13 points in this first half. Smelsley goes baseline against the big man. Peyton Scheimer picks up now his first personal foul. Eagles were able to get the big man last night. Zach Oswald in foul trouble, two fouls in the first quarter, but Axel did not attack him after that. We'll see what the Eagles do here. Grady busting into the contest. Logan Sandman back to the bench. Senior in for the freshman. Box set here for the Eagles. With Detweiler inbound, the nice pass down low. Boxer, excuse me, Bussing had it partially blocked. I believe that's going to go for Boston Scheimer. Three ball, Eli Broxman. Three triples here in this quarter. Darn near from NBA range for the junior. Back the other end, though. Axel cannot stop a leaking faucet as Daniel Kramer goes right by Wyatt Detweiler to the rim. 4-2. Kramer now with 15 points so far here in this contest. He had 10 the other night in the loss. Eli throws up another three. That's an air ball from the left corner. Eagles trailing here by one, 27-26 in the fast moving fourth quarter. Kramer filling it. Shake and bake. Got it. Daniel Kramer just putting the work in on Wyatt Detweiler on the offensive and 17 points now for the 1,000-point score in his career. Only a junior, too, so we'll expect to see him back at this tournament next year, of course, Knight will be losing big man down low. But in today's day and age of basketball, if you have a guard that can fill it up, you got it. Colin Chauncey tries to fill it up from three, misses that one. Good hustle, Grady Bussing forces the loose ball. Jump ball will go back to Dighton, though. 
Landon Schmidt back in. Wyatt Detweiler to the bench looking for a little bit more of a defensive pressure there as the freshman has gotten beaten multiple times already from the point guard position. A little condensation on the floor. Good time to remind you it is a full day of high school and college basketball. KU action will start off about 2.30 over on FM 95.5. Unfortunately, we will not have the K-State game. I know that's going to tip off, I think, here at 1 o'clock. If I remember right. So we'll have updates for that one here as it goes along as we get closer to that date. A little token pressure here for the Eagles. Leon Roy breaks it, kicks it out to Carson, gets it. Boston Scheimer actually there. Daniel Kramer thought was the man and he filled it up. But good passing there from the Dighton Wolves. Or excuse me, Wolves, the Hornets here early on. Broxman down the lane, up off the glass, no good. Offensive rebound, Grady Bussing. Second try, third, kicks it out. Landon Schmidt's three. Hard off the rim, no good. Bussing still fighting, and he's going to get called for the offensive foul. No, it's going to be a defensive foul called on Daniel Kramer trying to box out Grady Bussing. So Grady doing a good job on the boards here early on. Forcing this Titan team to respect the offensive rebounding of Axel, which they've done so well here this year. Inbound pass, Broxerman. Shaughnessy will get it set up top side. Left side, Broxerman. Trying to get this offense rolling. Eagles trailing now by five inside, but a charge will be called. Brandon Schnellsley a little bit too fast to the lane as Jace Mean, 5'9", senior off the bench. Steps in front, picks up that charge on Brandon. Had trouble with screens last night. Got a couple charges, too, as well. Did Brandon. Now he forces a turnover up through the contact, and he will earn a trip to the line. Don't see it very often. Carson Schreimer, the big man, tried to take it out, or tried to take in that inbounds pass. Not good communication between guard and big man, and Schmelzley with those instincts that were so evident on the football field this year, picked that pass off, and now there's a trip to the line. First free throw here for Schmelzley, and misses. Substitution is Noah Romer, the 5'11 guard, will check in for Leon Rod. Both teams will go about seven or eight deep, get to see Grant Bussey for the Eagles. Might not see him with the size. Smellsley, second one, goes down. First three throw make for Axel comes with 3.14 left before half. Of course, coming up at half, we'll remind you, we'll recap this first half as well as preview action elsewhere around the state. Down the lanes, rise, they're up no good on that. A lot of contact, not going to get the foul. Back the other way comes Smith, and Smith throws it in front of Schmelzley, but it's going to be off a tip pass off of Knighton. 3.29 to go, 31-27 is our score. Knighton leading this one early on. Axel had a lead by six midway through the first quarter. Schmelzley puts it up, he's going to be blocked by Carson Scheimer. Big man averages four blocks a season, got six the other night. At the other end, shake and bake, and Daniel Kramer is cooking from the mid-range. Landon Schmidt's excellent defensive possession, but Kramer just a shot maker. 19 points already here for the junior in this one. Broxman down the lane, up, no good, rolls off. Shaughnessy offensive rebound, and now taken away by Scheimer. Scheimer will send it up, fires up a three for the big man, hard off the rim, no good offensive rebound, though. Dyn misses the second opportunity, and now a foul will be called on Jace Ming going for the offensive board. All 6 4 Carson Scheimer fired up a triple there on that one, but it'll be a no good. Good defensive rebound by Landon Schmelzley, or excuse me, Landon Schmitz to get that. Defensive board. Just under three minutes left to play here before halftime. Axel led midway through the first quarter, but it's been all dying since then. 33-27. Landon Smith gets deep position. No foul on that one. Second opportunity continuing to fight, but won't get it on two shots. Landon got straight across the arm. Mentioned it last night. It's been a physical week here at State Basketball. Not a lot of stuff getting called letting these boys play. Nice little turnaround shot there for Scheimer. Misses that one. Good defense by Sandman on the other end. 
Brockman baseline, fake pass by Smelsley. Three ball up, no good. Logan Sandman going for the board. He's going to be called for that foul. Second now for Logan Sandman. Gets raked across the arm offensively, barely touches the kid, draws the foul on that side. That will be the fifth team foul on Axel already. So Dine walking to the line where they were three for four in the game from the free throw strike. It will be Jace Ming at the line, the 5'9 senior, one of those four seniors mentioned for the Hornets this year. Ming misses the first one. Second one upcoming. Dying the top seed in this tournament, Axel, your number two seed, meeting in the third and fourth place game here in Great Bend. It's been a wonderful weekend. Thank you all for tuning in. Appreciate it to our sponsors, too, making all of this broadcast possible. We'll be back tonight at 6.15 for the Hanover girls as they aim for their second straight state championship. Smelly goes in, and it's going to be blocked there by Scheimer. Already second block for the big man. Quickly the other way comes this 19. They like to run offensively, defensively. Scheimer cooking, not on that one. Back the other way, here comes Brockman. Nice feed to Smelsley. Smelsley puts it up, misses it, but Landon Smith's right there for his first bucket of the afternoon. Pays to run the floor. 34-29 is our score. Scheimer will bring it across the timeline. Man-to-man defense. Axel has been all contest long. Scheimer looking for the switch, gets past him. Pull up jump shot, seven feet, no good. Off defensive rebound, Landon Smith. Good job there by Logan Sandman is not going to block the shot there of the 6'4 senior that went to take the charge. They Chimer pull up with a bad shot. Now a turnover is going to be forced. Chimer has the run out down the lane, up and down for two on Carson Chimer. His first make in four attempts for the big man. Eight points now as Dighton extends this lead back up 36-29. Eagles have turned it over seven times, led to three or four runouts already. Elevator screen, Brockstrom in three. That one's hard off the rim, no good. Logan Sandman offensive the board. Pass and one. Logan Sandman through the contact. A strong move there for the freshman. We'll get a chance at an old-fashioned three-point play here in the final 42 seconds of this first half. That foul will go on Boston Scheimer, his first one. Sandman at the line now for one free throw. First one for the freshman. Deep knee bend. Puts it up and down. Good looking form there for Logan. It really came on here the second half of the season. 37 seconds left to go before halftime. Right back to Daniel Kramer. Short corner, not on that one. And a foul will be called on Noah Reamer. Junior went in trying to get the defense or offensive rebound. Good box out there again by Landon Schmidt. So we're going to walk to the other end. Who was that that actually boxed out and drew the foul? It's going to be Logan Stanman. So the freshman getting some good action here late in this first half. Sandman back at the line where he just converted his lone free throw of the afternoon. First one up coming for the freshman. Calmly knocks that one down. Eagles still trailing here by three, though, in what has been a tight-knit game. Axel jumped down early with a six-point lead, but it's been all biting since then. 31 seconds left to go before halftime. Sandman second free throw. No good offensive rebound being fought around for and finally taken away now by Dighton. Across the timeline, Daniel Kramer already with 19 points. He's going to set up this offense, guarded by Colin Shaughnessy, top side. Two high posts. We're going to go left high post to the big man, Scheimer. Scheimer left baseline, 12-foot shot up, no good offensive rebound. Boston Scheimer now inside a travel. Will be called on Noah Reamer as the two subs for Dighton not playing up to the ability of the starting five so far early on. Two substitutions, Landon Schmidt out, and Logan Sandman to the bench. Why is that Weiler Grady busting back in for the final 8.2? Offensive set here for the Eagles. Detweiler back to Schmelzley. Schmelzley across the timeline, left side busting with three. Elevator screen for Brockstrom. Shaughnessy's going to have to get it off, and he doesn't. No shot. Shaughnessy makes it, but the shot was well below the or well after the violation went off. 36-33 is our halftime score. Axel tried to fight back for a third-place finish here in Barton Community College. We'll take a timeout, bring you recaps of that first half here 
on KNDY. For all of your heating, air conditioning, plumbing, electrical, and excavation services, there's only one call to make. Eagle HVAC and Heating. Formerly Dave's Hardware and Axtell, the guys at Eagle HVAC and Heating look forward to continuing the success Dave built over the years. Offering all heating, ventilation, air conditioning needs, as well as carrying a wide variety of name-brand appliances, they do plumbing and electrical, as well as excavation service. Give Eagle HVAC and Heating a call today in Axtell. Western National Bank in Summerfield wants you to feel good about where you are with your money. Available when you need them and offering online and personal services, Western National Bank will make sure to keep you and your money happy. Call Western National Bank at 244-6211 to make your money smile. Member FDIC. For engineered roof and floor trusses, call on Axtel Truss. 12 to 80 foot span. Complete hip, cathedral, and floor systems using only the best SYP available. Delivered to your site undamaged on a roll-off trailer. Manufactured locally at Axtel Truss on US Highway 36, two miles west of K110 between Seneca and Marysville. Phone 785-736-2291. Are you tired of one-size-fits-all insurance? Become a champion of choice with an independent insurance agent. We're not tied to one company. At SBS Insurance Agency, we shop a variety of options to find the coverage that suits you. Experience the freedom of tailored insurance solutions, personalized service, and unwavering support. Choose SBS today. Your coverage, your way. Call us and let us navigate the insurance maze for you. Have an accident with your vehicle? Call Moonlight Restoration and they'll take care of you with a free estimate and they'll turn it into the insurance company for you. You name it, they can do it. Fender Benders, auto and tractor restoration, windshield repair or replacement, spray and bed liners, sandblasting, dealer and installer of B&W hitches and drop and lock hitches. No job is too large or too small for Moonlight Restoration. If you want quality work done by skilled technicians, call Moonlight Restoration in Axtell, Kansas. Owned and operated by Brett and Nikki Runnebaum. Call 736-20. 359. Planning new construction? If it's an outbuilding, storage, home addition, or a new home, the pros at Hometown Lumber in Marysville and Axtell Lumber will help you put together everything you need from start to finish. They can help you with your design with recommendations and cost estimates, helping you find the right product at the right price. And it's delivered free for you when you're ready, when you shop local. Everything you need for your dream home or a simple shed is at Hometown Lumber in Marysville and Axtell Lumber. Visit with them today. The top two seeds in this 1A Division II state championship game matching up in the third and fourth place game. Axel and Dighton. Dighton leading at halftime 36-33. Axel led by six midway through that first quarter, but it's been all Dighton since then. Their biggest league reach at 10 at the end of the first. Now it sets as three as Axel outscored Dighton 18-14 to in that first, in that second quarter. Dighton was up 22-15 to at the end of the first quarter order for this Axel offense that has finally come alive here in this contest. Leading the way for Axel is Eli Brockman. He has nine points. He is three for nine from the three-point land, and it is those three-point field goals that are keeping Axel in this contest. The Eagles are 9 for 13 from behind the arc. Elsewhere, Dighton is 0 for 5 as they've really been pounding it inside. Eli Broxman, 9 points, 6 points apiece for Colin Shaughnessy, Brandon Schmelsley, and Logan Sandman. 4 points, Grady Bussing, 2 points, Landon Smith. Though for Dighton, it has been the Daniel Kramer show. The 1,000-point score in his career, only a junior, 19 points on 8 of 15 shooting, 3 of 4 from the line leads the way. The big man down low, Carson Scheimer, then averages nearly a double-double on the season. He has eight points and two rebounds, also has two blocks. Dine at the rim, as all season has they been. They had 11 blocks the other night versus Cunningham. They already have six in the first half here versus Axel. Second chance points, though, to Axel as they continue to pound the offensive glass. 16-2 to two in that category, but it has been the turnovers, live ball turnovers, that let Dine keep this lead in the first half. 12 points off turnovers, 10 fast break points for Dighton, none 
for an actual Eagles team that really likes to get out and run this year. Eagles have 16 more minutes to see if they can come away with a win in the last game of their season. They trail by three back out on the court, getting second half warmed up here for you from Great Bend. We were going to take a timeout, bring it back here for second half action, as well as a look at action elsewhere around the state, as it is final day of high school basketball in the state of Kansas. Since 1976, Olmstead Real Estate and Auctions has been your farm and home marketing team. Let the experienced family team of Tom and Rob Olmstead and brother-in-law Tom Kirkland guide you when buying or selling a home or farmland. Delivering timely, honest, and professional guidance, visit olmsteadrealestate.com to view current listings and auctions. Your farm and home marketing team is Olmstead Real Estate and Auctions. Little Steps Dance and Gymnastics Studio opens summer class enrollment March 15th. Engage your child in a fun, active environment during the summer with tumbling, cheer, jazz, and dance classes. From ages 18 months to 18 years, enroll in summer classes at littlestepsdance.com by March 15th. Travel on by Landall in Waterville is looking for career-minded individuals currently hiring trailer refurbishment staff, including welders, paint prep painters, and assemblers on first shift. This stable family-owned company offers competitive wages, raises, and promotions, plus a 4% attendance bonus based off your gross weekly wage. Benefits include paid time off, paid holidays, incentive bonus, employer-paid life, short-term and long-term disability insurance, comprehensive health insurance, and more. Apply online at Landall.com or phone 785-562-5381. Landall Company, EEO Vets and Disability, welcome. Hey, farmers and ranchers, ready for planting season? Need a fuel buddy who's got your back? Kramer Oil is here for you. From Marysville to Jamestown, Longford, and everywhere in between, our 13 card lock locations keep you running smooth from sunup to sundown. Say goodbye to running on empty during planting. With Kramer Oil, you get reliable fuel services that fit just right with your farm's needs. Kramer Oil, powering your farm's success. Your go-to for fuel in Kansas and Nebraska. Axel trailing Dighton at halftime, 36-33. It has been 19 points from Daniel Kramer, the junior, for the Hornets that have pushed Dighton up to this lead. It is a jam-packed day of basketball here on KNDY. Of course, opposite of my broadcast, the Valley Heights Lady Mustangs looking for a third-place finish out in Class 2A action out there at Dodge City. They trail, though, St. Mary's Colgan, who came into the state tournament undefeated. They fell an upset bid last night, 48-40 40 versus Wichita Independent. St. Mary's up on Valley Heights, 29-18 to 18 at half. Elsewhere around the state, got plenty of action going on this evening as the Hanover Lady Wildcats and the Frankfurt Lady Wildcats look for state championships. Of course, we will have Frankfurt right here on AM 1570 FM 94.1 at 615 as they will match up. I had it here just a minute ago, and then I lose. They will match up against undefeated Little River 25-0 and now on the season. Or excuse me, 24-0, and looking for an undefeated season. But Frankfurt, who went third last year and is playing excellent ball in the state tournament, looking for a state championship ring. Of course, also at 6:15, the Hanover Lady Wildcats looking for back-to-back -back state titles since 1718. They will be on FM 95.5. I'll have that call right here from Great Bend. We'll also have KU basketball over on our sister station FM 95.5 this afternoon, starting about two o'clock. Won't have KU State basketball though, unfortunately, here this afternoon. But of course, you can keep up to date at KDYRadio.com. We're going to take one more time out. Second half action up for you next. With gear for any outdoor enthusiast needs, making a stop at Tuttle Creek Outdoors in Randolph is a must. High quality products and knowledgeable staff, Tuttle Creek Outdoors has you covered for all your hunting, fishing, camping, and marine service needs. Offering daily military discounts store-wide, make your next outdoor adventure memorable by visiting Tuttle Creek Outdoors along Highway 77 in Randolph, Kansas, and keep doing what you love while they handle the rest. Access denied. We've all been there. When you can't connect the thingy to the whatchamacallit, and the whatchamacallit can't find the Wi-Fi network. 
Well, Blue Valley Technologies has a solution that can help you with all your connected devices. Tech Home with unlimited multi-device support to help you get your home connected and even tune up your computer. Find more details at bluevalley.net slash tech home. Trailing by three, 16 minutes left in the high school basketball season. Legal's looking for a third place finish here in this one. Three ball right off the key. Colin Shaughnessy misses that one right into the hands of Daniel Kramer. Kramer, 19 points, led the way for either side in that first half. First offensive possession here for Dining, faked on the three. Now inside will go Leon Roy. Leon Roy, Roy turns it over, though, here in the first half. Dying only four turnovers in that first half. Axel only seven. High-low action again as Grady Mustine puts it down for two. Six points now for the senior. As that high-low action against this 2-3 zone for Dying worked early on. Eagles trying to get it going. Here's Kramer on a baseline fadeaway. Wow, he is feeling it here tonight. Daniel Kramer over the bigger Brandon Schmelzley as head coach Jason Tynan does a little switch on the defensive end. Wide Detweiler baseline, but he's going to be blocked right back into his hands. To Eli Broxman, three, that's off from the word go. Broxman had three threes in that first half. Nine points led the way for the Eagles. In the corner, all alone, Braxton Scheimer, no, misses the bunny, and the Eagles pull down the off- defensive board. Back and forth we go now here. Axel still trailing by three. Got the first bucket of the second half, but Daniel Kramer now 21 points in this contest. Smooth shooting guard as his Dighton Hornets up by three. Missed shot from Smelsley at the high elbow. Leads to a run out. Braxton Scheimer at the other end up. No good. Offensive rebound though for Carson. Carson Scheimer puts it up and down for two on the missed shot. And that's where the big man is so deadly. Axel did a better job than Dighton, though, compared to the size on the offensive rebound in that first half. Eagles had 16 second-chance points compared to only two for Dighton in that first half. We had a dead ball whistle. I don't know exactly what happened on that play, but Axel will keep possession here, trailing by five. Outside Broshman around the horn, Shaughnessy. Shaughnessy looking to get this offensive possession set up. Smellsley right block, now kicks it out. Shaughnessy wide open. College three misses that one. Grady Mussey, though, offensive rebound. Gives these Eagles another possession. But now Wyatt Detweiler turns it over. Leon Roy gets the run out. Two on two. Up left hand, no good, but a foul will be called on Colin Shaughnessy. So Eagles had an opportunity there with the offensive rebound to get some points, which have been so critical here in this one in which neither defense has been able to get very many stops. George Van Lornroyd at the line for two free throws. Misses the first one. Landon Schmidt in for Wyatt Detweiler. Sophomore in for freshman. Of course, Landon projected starting point guard for this team before the season got started. Of course, had an injury there during football, just getting back into basketball shape, but playing a lot of minutes here at the state tournament. Leon Rod knocks down the second one, goes one for two from the line. Nine now, five points here in this quarter. They led Axel 22 to 15 at the end of one quarter. Axel outscored him by four in the second, but Eagles still trail now here by six. Kit pass as Roxman trying to get it to Smelsley, left side. Goes out of bounds. We'll stay here with the Eagles. 2-3 defense, of course, coming out for Dighton. Same starting lines for both sides. After that substitution for Detweiler, Smellsley, Shaughnessy, Grady Vessing, Broxman out there for the Eagles. Three ball deep from Eli. Got it. There's some NBA scouts here. They'd be saying, well, he can shoot from our market. He's letting it fly. I'm not kidding you. About three steps behind the three-point line. Fader shot up, miss by Daniel Kramer, and probably the first four shot I've seen by Kramer here so far tonight. Very good at those little faders along the baseline, little kind of jump back step shots. Just couldn't get that, that one to fall there for the junior. Around the horn, Eagles can either tie or cut it down to one here on this possession. Right side, Smith looking to get it set up. 
9-2-3 zone. Axel doing a good job of moving it around. Hits the paint, kicks it out. Landon Schmidt for three, and we've got ourselves a tie ball game. Landon Schmidt confidently stepped into that one and canned it. And I think the biggest word there for this Axel team is state confidence. They seem to have lost it last night. That might be the first time here tonight seeing this defense get involved. Off the back of the iron and down, Daniel Kramer against Brandon Schmelzley, the best on-the-ball fender that Axel has, gets it to go down. At the other end, Eli, long three, no, but offensive rebound, Brandon. Brandon kicks it back out. Now to Shaughnessy, fakes on a three, kicks it over to Smith's in the corner. Eli top side, working a screen and roll with Brandon. Now kicks it out. Smellsley faked on the three. Gets inside the lane. Kicks it off. Grady Bussing. Trouble with it, but kicks it out. Broxman left corner three. That's long from the word goal. Go. Offensive rebound. They're landing Schmitz. Back to Brandon. Good passing there in five. And Axel takes their first lead since 6.15 left in the first quarter. Or tied up, excuse me. Still tied up now at 43. Back the other way, Dalton Kramer. No, not on that one. Got through the defense again, Bid Daniel. Three ball here, Smelsley walks into it, left wing, that's short, no good. Brandon, not really the shooter on this team per se, did hit one there in the first half, six, eight points now for the junior. Substitution, Logan Sandman into the contest, out will go Grady Bussing. Man-to-man defense here for Axel, looking to get a, get a stop. Across the timeline, Daniel Kramer. 23 points now for the junior, absolutely filling up the score sheet. Talked about the big man inside was going to be the problem. Now a charge. No, it's going to be an and one here. That's going right through the chest of Landon Schmidt with Peyton Redburn. Senior gets his first bucket since early in the first quarter and will earn a trip to the line for an old-fashioned three-point play. Not much else Mitch could do there. Held his ground and just put the shoulder right into him. Second for first free throw, no. Offensive rebound will be fought around to Eagles, and then it's going to stay with, there you go. Goes back to Axel. Bouncer's not supposed to get into the game too terribly much, and that was almost catastrophic there for Axel. Eagles across the timeline here. Smellsley will get it set up. Screen and roll with Shaughnessy. Five out set now as there's five guards on the floor. Smellsley will attack the big man inside, up and under. No good. Logan Sandman trying to fight for the board. Redburn comes away with it. Leads to a run out now behind the back pass. Tips away. Stole it away by Axel. Quickly back the other way. Come the Eagles. Broxman top side kicks it over. Smellsley left wing attacks it. Up, down. No good. Did not finish strong, though. On that one did Brandon. Here come the Eagles. Kramer across the timeline, and head coach Tyler Lee wants to take the timeout. We'll take it with them. 45-43, our score, Axel trailing by two. Earning a degree is easy with Highland Community College. Highland offers multiple locations and technical training across northeast Kansas. Can't make it to campus? No problem with Highland's online classes. Live out of state? pay one low rate of $126 per credit hour. Enrollment is open now, so visit us at highlandcc.edu. Highland Community College, close to home, far from debt. Looking to build that dream home from the ground up or remodel your existing one? Let JD Construction handle everything from basements to roofing, windows, flooring, and new homes. Serving all of Northeast Kansas, call Jared today at 785-353-2313. Residential, agricultural, small or large projects, consider a custom build from JD Construction. Providing the highest quality work, completed on time and on budget from a local company you can trust. From start to finish, it's JD Construction. Day of the high school master all season is upon us. Max Blasky with you here as the Eagles trail the Hornets by two. Two thirty-six left to play in this third quarter. We've got championship action coming up later tonight. And over Lady Wildcats over on FM ninety-five point five. Frankfurt Wildcats will be right here on AM fifteen seventy FM ninety-four point one. Meanwhile, opposite of our broadcast right now on AM on FM ninety-five point five Valley Heights. Trails at halftime versus St. Mary's Colgan. Up and down for two. Boston Scheimer did a little elevator screen top side to get Daniel Kramer open, but Axel did a good job of defending it. Eli Broxman fires up another deep three. Eli Broxman, his fifth triple so far here tonight. 15 points from the junior. Loves that side of the court, letting it fly. 
Kramer against Shaughnessy. Step back shot again, and he is on fire. Daniel Kramer, hand in his face, step back 15-footer. At the other end, Brocherman hits for cash. That's the back bucket here for Eli Brocherman. A deep triple. We're knotted up at 49. Where was this offense last night? Hexel only scored 38 points in that contest. They have 49, and we still have nine minutes left to go in this game. Carson Scheimer trying to break down the freshman. Logan Sandman does a good job there, forcing the miss. Quickly back the other way. Brandon across the timeline with it. Now around the horn, Collins calling shot top side, and now a travel on the reversal. Brandon Shelby couldn't keep those feet going. Not the first time we've seen that happen. He likes to catch the ball from the left side, kind of fake to the right and drive middle line into the paint, but just kind of moves that pivot foot. And a big turnover there for Axel. Just when they had all the momentum, dead ball turnover sends it back to Dighton. Across the timeline, Daniel Kramer with those 25 points gets into line. 27, no, hangs on the rim. An offensive rebound for Carson Scheimer. The big man puts it down 4-2 on the offensive board. Five out set now as it is five guards out there for Axel. Logan Sandman will play your five position. Smellsley right wing, top side now, Brockschmidt. Thought about a three, but that'd be a heat check. Now let's run some offense here. Inside, Sandman sprints to the back and no misses that one. Landon, Logan Sandman actually had an opportunity. Kind of got a little push in the back as he was going across the lane for Boston Shimer. Like we mentioned it before, this has been physical play. Now they hear a great bend. They're letting these boys play. Daniel Kramer guarded by Brandon Smellsley. 30 seconds left. Kramer will run this clock out. Two-point advantage for Dighton. 24 seconds left to go before the final quarter. Down to the corner with Scheimer. Scheimer trying to back down Sandman and gets it. Sandman did a good job last possession to alert to deter the senior post. That one could not. Shaughnessy looking to get going here. Only six points all came in the first quarter. Now kicks it out top side to Sandman. Brandon Schmelzley gets it, and head coach Jason Tynan wants to take a timeout to get a good shot off. 30-second timeout will be called. We're going to keep it right here, though, for the final 3.7 seconds. Axel trailed at the end of the first quarter, 22-15. to 15. They outscored Dighton 18-14 to 14 in that second, but still trail here by four. 18 points for Eli Brockman so far. 20, or excuse me, eight for Brandon Schmelzley, six apiece for Colin Shaughnessy and Logan Sandman. But on the other side, it has been the Daniel Kramer show. He has 25 points, 19 at halftime as the start shooting thousand point score has been showing why he is exactly that here at state. Other night, he only had 10 points, but really opening it up in the two-headed monster between him and Carson Trimer. Shine. Shimer. Top side now, Broxman, three ball straight on. He cans it! Eli Broxman at the buzzer. It's his fourth triple in this third quarter and pulls Axel to within one. It is 53-52, heading into the final eight minutes. Eagles looking for the comeback. Generations have relied on Kinsley's of Marysville, the Patton Funeral Chapel in Frankfurt, Hanover Mortuary, Ward Funeral Homes of Lynn in Washington, and Landreth Axtell Funeral Home. You can continue to rely on the professional experience that they provide and the heartfelt concern that they offer each family that they serve. Caring concern in your family's time of need. Your authorized hustler dealer with service is Blue Valley Trailers in Waterville. Built durable, comfortable, and here in the state of Kansas, Hustler mowers are designed to handle any terrain you have. Don't settle for a flimsy unit from the big box store. Stocked with a full line of residential zero-turn mowers, Blue Valley Trailers has the mower designed to get the job done at the right price. Look over the complete selection of Hustler mowers at Blue Valley Trailers in Waterville or online at bluevalleytrailers.com. If your vehicle is looking like it just went through a money rally race, or perhaps it's been target practice for the neighborhood bird gang, then you need to get your car washed today at the Axel Car Wash. The Axel Car Wash has two enclosed self-service bays, even one size for semi-tractors. Just pull in, pay with your bank card, and wash all the dirt, mud, bugs, and bird stuff off your vehicles. You don't have to drive far to get a clean car. Just visit the Axel Car Wash, proud supporter of the Axel Eagles. 
Axel Altor dying in that quarter, 19 to 17. Still trail by one, though. First possession for Dine. They're going to go inside to the big man, Carson Scheimer. He's going to be fouled by Logan Sand, then picks up his third personal foul, and then a miss on the three ball from Peyton Redburn in the corner. Give it back to the Eagles. Eagles looking to take their first lead since 5.50 left to play in the first quarter. Smelsley downhill, nice Euro, up and one for Brandon Smelsley. Right to the red goes the big junior, all six, two of them gliding through the lane, puts it down for two, and now the Eagles are up by one. Personal foul will go on Boston Shimer. Free throw now for Smelsley. Knocks that one down. It is a two-point advantage here for the Eagles. Just start of the fourth quarter. Actually, only three foul shots tonight so far, but they've been doing it from outside. Axel is 11 for 30 from behind the arc. Dine only attempted five threes so far. Big man working against Blissing. Shot no good. Good defense there by Grady Blissing. On the big man, Carson Trimer. Back the other way now. Detweiler out top will get it set up for the Eagles. Detweiler, Schmelzley, Bussing, Brocksterman, and Shaughnessy are five out there for Axel. A little miscommunication here near side. And now throwing it into the stands. Trying to get it to Eli Brocksterman was Wyatt Detweiler out top. Just a miscommunication there. Seen a little struggle with that here the last couple nights between the point guards and their guards. Wyatt Detweiler, of course, kind of thrown into action this year as a freshman. Played really well, but maybe the lights getting a little bright. Lights are not too bright for Daniel Kramer as he knocks it down. 27 points now for the sharp shooting guard from Dighton, leading the way for his Hornets. Now he's going to pick up a foul on the other end, reach in foul. He's trying to poke it away. From Wyatt Detweiler, good job by the freshman to hold that ball close to his hip. Axel, of course, finished last year the fourth after the loss to South Central, 59-45. Dine is looking for their best finish at state since 1992. They finished fourth in that year. This is their first trip back since 2016. Inside, Brocksman misses, leads to a run out. Daniel Kramer all alone. Blocked by Brandon Smelsley. A big block on the fast break. Saves the possession for the Eagles. What an athletic take there. Colin Shaughnessy, three. Momentum Axel. Big triple. Colin Shaughnessy, his first one since the first quarter. And the Eagles have opened this up to a three-point advantage. Kramer across the timeline with those 27, gets into the lane, pulls up, knocks it down. 29 now for the junior. He's not letting Axel get too far away. Back comes Eli Broxman down the baseline. Scoop shot, no pass. Brady Busting puts it down. Beautiful passing there from the Eagles. Back and forth we go here in this fourth quarter. 60 to 57 is our score. Axel leading with 5.30 left to play. Kramer gets to his spot. Three ball straight on, but he will be fouled by Brandon Smelsley. First three shot up by Daniel Kramer. Excuse me. Second three shot up by Daniel Kramer here in this contest, and he will be fouled by Smelsley. That is just a tough, tough defensive assignment there for the junior. You want to contest correctly, but just got a little bit too far out. 30-piece now for the junior. Daniel Kramer, 5'10 from Dighton. 1,000-point scorer here on the season so far. Second one upcoming. That one's a miss, though. One more coming. 16 points per game, 5.5 assists. assists, Four steals for Daniel Kramer on the season. Already a 30-burger here in the state tournament. Second free throw, no. Goes one for two there for the Hornets. Detweiler out top will get this set up. 60 to 58 is our score. Smelsley out top against the big man, Kramer, or Scheimer. Gets it off, little hand motion out top. Weave action here for the Eagles. Top side, Shaughnessy wide open three. He got it! Colin Shaughnessy back to back triple for this Eagles team. You live by the three, you die by the three, and tonight the Eagles are alive. Leading by five here. Kramer across the timeline, into the lane, and a foul will be called on Wyatt Detweiler. Two shots now upcoming for the junior. 
That personal foul will go again to they put it on. Yep, Wyatt, that Wyler picks that one up. Came off his man to try and draw the charge, but just going to get into possession good enough. Kramer at the line for two free throws where he was just one for three. Calmly knocks that one down. Substitution now as Logan Sandman will check in for Grady Bussing. Kramer at the line, second one. That one rattles home for Daniel Kramer. 32 points now for the junior. And he has just absolutely torched Axel in this one. Smellsley up and down for two. Right past the big man, Carson Scheimer. At the other end, though, Boston Scheimer gets behind the defense. Misses that one. Offensive rebound and fouled. Going to the line will be Peyton Redburn. Second or third time now, Boston Scheimer just got behind the defense for this Axel team. Boston at 6'3", an athletic player. So far, only six points for the junior, and those have all been kind of on those cherry-picking baskets, I guess we'll say. Personal foul will go on Logan Sand, then picks up now his third personal. At the line, Peyton Redburn. Six points for the junior so far here in this one. Misses the first free throw. Slam and Schmitz back into the contest. Wyatt Detweiler to the bench. Free throw upcoming for the junior. Calmly misses it. No, but offensive rebound. Carson Scheimer puts it up, misses it. Good defensive board by Brandon Schmelzley, and I believe he's going to be fouled 90 feet from the basket. Carson Scheimer goes about 6-4 down low, probably about a good 200. Axel, of course, I'm sure that was part of their big game plan going into this contest, but he has pretty much been held in check to the tune of eight points, really getting close to 10 rebounds, but he had 26 and 18 in that loss versus Cunningham the other night. Axel doing a good job on him so far tonight, but it has been Daniel Kramer that has erupted for 32. Sandman a three straight on, halfway down and out, no good. Logan, uh, Landon Smith with the offensive putback. Athletic play there by the sophomore, and Dyton wants to take a timeout. Axel extends this lead up to seven. We're going to take a break with them. You're listening to Eagle Basketball here on KNDY. The ND Buildings of Axel specializes in post-frame buildings. Give them a call for stud-framed buildings with complete concrete and electrical work included. It's one call to get the job done. The ND Buildings, specializing in post-frame building construction, plus repairs and more. Always free estimates. Give them a call. The ND Buildings of Axtell, 785-294-0147. The ND Buildings at 785-294-0147. Little Joe's 66 Service in Axtell is a proud supporter of Axtell Schools and Axtell Athletics. If you have automotive repair needs, call Joe at 785-736-2824. With satisfied customers from all over the area, Little Joe's 66 Service is the place to turn for all of your automotive repair needs. Max Blasky back with you from Great Bend, Kansas. It is high school basketball action on KNDY. Of course, K-State normally on at this time, but bumped it for this Axel game. We'll bring you a score update just as soon as that one gets started. Of course, over on our sister station, FM 95.5, Valley Heights Lady Mustangs tipping off in their third and fourth place game. Last check trailing at half. Floater there by Kramer misses that one. Defensive board pulled down now by Axel. <clears throat> Head coach Jason Tynan more than willing to run a little clock here with 3.41 left to play here in this one. Seven-point advantage for Axel. They led by six midway through the first quarter, regained that lead here in the fourth. Ever since then, Axel's been on the attack. Smellsley right into the body of Carson Schein. Scheimer picks up now his third personal foul. That's what I thought Axel should have done last night against the big man for Lebo. Put that shoulder down and get into them. Third foul there for Kramer. Schnellsley at the line for two free throws. Misses that first one. Substitution now is Noah Romer and George Vaughn. Leon Rod back into the contest for Dyton. Good one over on our sister station. Mustangs trail 48-37 to in the final four minutes. Mustangs looking for a comeback in that one. It's a busy day, too, on KNDY. 
as Frankfurt Lady Wildcats state championship action will be right here on FM 94.1 AM 1570 at 615. Meanwhile, Hanover girls will buy for their second straight title on a at 615 on FM 95.5. Kramer continuing to force the action here. We'll go back to the line. Draws a foul on Brandon Schmelzley. Third personal now for the junior. Fouled out last night with only five points. Free throw there for Kramer is good. Cuts this lead down now to seven. It will be Cunningham and will be Lebo in the state title game here in Class 1A Division 2 coming up later on this afternoon as Kramer knocks down both free throws. It will be an excellent contest between two top-tier teams. Cunningham had two players go over 25 points in their upset win versus Dying the other day. Meanwhile, Lebo, Grayson Shoemaker, a 20-piece versus Axel the other night to put his Wolves into the state title game. Of course, Hanover will match up against Lebo in the girls' contest, too, as well. So both Wolves teams for boys and girls in the state championship game. Carson Scheimer picks up his fourth as Brandon Schmelzley goes right at the big man, and that is personal foul number five as a team for Dighton here in this one. So to the line will go Brandon Schmelzley where he just went 0 for 2. 6-point advantage here, Axel. Three minutes left to play in this fourth quarter. Brandon calmly knocks down the first free throw. Second one upcoming, trying to push this one down to eight. Free throw coming for the All-State quarterback. Misses that one, though. Quickly outlet into Daniel Kramer. Kramer with 34 to the rack. Through the contact. No, partially blocked by Eli Broxman. Axel's got the numbers now as Kramer is late to get back. Gets back into the action. Smellsley down low. Pass. Landon Smith over the head. Landon Smith, a beautiful pass there from Brandon Smellsley. And Dine wants another timeout. Axel can feel this one leading 71-62 to 62 in the final two and a half minutes. We'll take a break. Back after this. For all of your heating, air conditioning, plumbing, electrical, and excavation services, there's only one call to make. Eagle HVAC and Heating. Formerly Dave's Hardware in Axtell, the guys at Eagle HVAC and Heating look forward to continuing the success they've built over the years. Offering all heating, ventilation, air conditioning needs, as well as carrying a wide variety of name brand appliances. They do plumbing and electrical, as well as excavation service. Give Eagle HVAC and Heating a call today in Axtell. Western National Bank in Summerfield wants you to feel good about where you are with your money. Available when you need them and offering online and personal services, Western National Bank will make sure to keep you and your money happy. Call Western National Bank at 244-6211 to make your money smile. Member FDIC. Dying back in the state tournament since 2000, first time in the state tournament since 2016. Head coach Tyler Ling, a senior on that year's squad, looking for a comeback here versus Axel. Top side, Daniel Kramer, free or from the free throw line, got it to go down, hit the deck hard on Brandon Schmelzley, and I think he stepped on Kramer's foot. Kramer now with 36 points here in this contest, trying to walk it off. I think we're going to get a substitution here. So a big, big loss for Dighton. Daniel Kramer, I think, got that ankle rolled up under. Brandon Schmelzley, defensive there, boxed out. Probably just accidentally stepped on that ankle. But that's a big loss here. 34 points goes to the bench for Dighton in the final 230. That's Coach Tyler Ling looking for a stop for Miss Swan, and this might be it. Carson Scheimer pokes it away. Two on two, gives it off. We're going to get a foul called before the shot. Limber big man up there for Dighton. Shooting foul now upcoming for Noah Raymer. Fourth personal foul now on Brandon Schmelzley. Fourteen points for Schmelzley so far. At the line will be Carson Scheimer, so it will not be Raymer at the line. Carson Scheimer calmly knocks down that first personal foul. Free throw attempts number 10 and 11 for Dighton here in this fourth quarter alone. 
Logan Sandman back in, Brady Bussy out. A little more athletic ability here for the Eagles. Second free throw from the righty, down and good. Big 6-4, calmly knocks down both free throws. Here comes Landon Smith's bump and the foul, personal foul. We'll go on Peyton Redburn, first one there. But more importantly, sends Axel to the line for free throws, looking to extend this lead. Landon Schmidt's at the line. First trip to the line so far for the 5'9 sophomore. First free throw is short, deadly short on that one. Jace Ming and Carson and Daniel Kramer back into the contest. Number 10, Kramer, with those 34 points now back in. Axel, 21 points so far from Eli Brockshireman, 12 for Colin Shaughnessy, 15 for Brandon Schmelsley. Smith knocks down that one. Five points now for Landon Schmidt in this quarter. Ten for the contest. Back the other way. Kramer, that's a double dribble. Not going to call it. Now kicks it out top side to Scheimer. Scheimer a three. Hard off the rim. No good offensive rebound, though. Inside for George Van Lonroyd. Puts it down for two. Dying the wheel pressure now. Full court pressure upcoming for the Wolves. Shaughnessy gets around the defender inside. Logan Sandman offensive board. And a foul will be called. And we'll send the freshman, Logan Sandman, to the line for two free throws. Who's that foul going to go on? That's going to go on Boston Scheimer. Third personal there for the junior. Only eight points so far here in this one. Logan Sandman, though, big free throws. First one up coming for the freshman. Short arms that one. Landon Schmidt, short guard to the first one. Two a minute ago, got the second one. Looking to extend this lead. It's 72-68 Axel. Axel took their first lead. Second lead of the game here midway through the fourth. Trying to hold on for a third place finish at State. Smith's or excuse me, Sandman misses both free throws. Four point contest across the timeline. Daniel Kramer with 36 kicks it off. Carson Scheimer down low against Sandman. Up shot, no good. Offensive rebound. Scheimer can't get that one. Ball being fought around. Landon Schmitz with it. Body still flying. Schmitz got body slammed to the floor. I think everyone's okay after all that fiasco, but it will be a jump ball back to Axel by the end of it. Four-point advantage Eagles looking to close this one out. Revenge the loss last year versus South Central in the third and the fourth place game. Team learning how to win. Got handled last night by Levo, 45-38 to in a game that Axel only shot 27% from the floor in that one. So far here, Axel has shot it to the clip of 52%, in, or excuse me, including 11 three balls so far. Timeout will be taken. We'll take it with them back after this word. For engineered roof and floor trusses, call on Axel Truss. 12 to 80 foot span. Complete hip, cathedral, and floor systems using only the best SYP available. Delivered to your site undamaged on a roll-off trailer. Manufactured locally at Axel Truss on US Highway 36, two miles west of K110 between Seneca and Marysville. Phone 785-736-2291. Calling all ranchers and livestock owners. Safeguard your herd with livestock risk protection insurance. Protect your investment against market volatility and unexpected losses. Whether you raise cattle or pigs, ensure your livelihood with coverage tailored to your needs. Don't leave your profits to chance. Secure your future in the barn and the market. Livestock risk protection because your animals and your bottom line deserve the best defense. Call SBS Insurance now to fence in your financial security. Eagles 91 seconds away from a third place finish here at Great Bend. Of course, wanted to leave playing in the championship game later tonight, but it's always good to end with a win. Full court pressure here from Dyton. Gets it into Smelsley. Smelsley far along the far sideline, guarded tightly by Boston Scheimer. 126 left to play. Scheimer pokes it away from Smelsley. Smelsley turns it over. Scheimer one on three to the rim. Up and good for Carson Scheimer. Fits the pocket. It is now a two point actual lead. Smelsley pass, Scheimer again, kicks it out, Brockshireman three, airballs that one, offensive rebound, fall four, and it'll go back though to Dighton. Eli Brockshireman, 21 in this one, couldn't get that three ball to hit. 
He shot 15 threes so far in this one, has made seven of them. Three ball on the other end, Dighton misses that one. Offensive rebound being fought for, fought around. It'll go back to Axel. Boy, Daniel Kramer fired up that triple, 36 points. That would have been the biggest three points of his career if he was able to hit that one with a hand in his face. 55 ticks left to go. Smellsley, Sandman, Smith, Shaughnessy, and Broxman out on the court. Left side is to be thrown away. Brandon Smellsley was trying to hit Eli Broxman at the scorer's table. Looking for a foul call was Eli Broxman, and Dighton wants to take a full timeout. Dighton has the ball, trailing by two. 55 seconds left to go. We'll be back after this word. Have an accident with your vehicle? Call Moonlight Restoration and they'll take care of you with a free estimate and they'll turn it into the insurance company for you. You name it, they can do it. Fender Benders, auto and tractor restoration, windshield repair or replacement, spray and bed liners, sandblasting, dealer and installer of B&W hitches and drop and lock hitches. No job is too large or too small for Moonlight Restoration. If you want quality work done by skilled technicians, call Moonlight Restoration in Axtell, Kansas. Owned and operated by Brett and Nikki Runnebaum. Call 736 20 359. That turnover happened underneath Dighton's basket, so that is where Dyson will gain this possession. Trailing by two, 55.5 to go. Brandon Schnellsley missed Eli Broxman on the inbounder. Gives Dighton this ball back. Dighton was up by as much as 10. Inbound pass blocked by Eli, but a two-shot foul will be coming for Daniel Kramer. Third or fourth time tonight already that Dyton has got right to the rim on the inbounds pass. Just a simple little back screen there, and Kramer knocks down the free throw. Second one upcoming can tie this one for Dyton. And he does. High ball game. 72-72. 54 seconds left. Dyton has no more timeouts to play with. Axel does have two in this final 54. Head coach for Dyton, no fouls. We're going to play this one clean. Eli Broxman, 21. Brandon Schnellsley, 15. Colin Shaughnessy with 12. Jason Tynan wants to take a timeout. He'll take it. We'll stay here, though, in the final 45 seconds. Remind everyone that it is a full day of high school basketball and college basketball on KNDY. Later on tonight, right here, Frankfurt Lady Wildcats will be buying for a 1A Division I state championship as they take on undefeated and state power Little River at 815. That game will be heard here on FM 941 AM 1570. Bruce Deerking will have that call from Lebo. Also at 815, the Hanover Lady Wildcats in Class 1A Division II will be buying for their second straight title in their fourth in state history as they rematch up against Lebo in the state tournament game. That game at 815 over on our sister station FM 95.5. Max West Yours truly right here will have that call coming up later on this evening. KU basketball does tip off at 3 o'clock, too. Pre-game starts at 2.30 on FM 95.5 as we wound down to the end of the basketball season. It is March Madness, and it has been madness here so far. Knighton led 22-15 at half. They were up 36 to 33 at, or excuse me, they led 22-15 at the end of the first quarter. They led 36 to 33 at halftime. Axel outscored them 19 to 17 in the third to trail by one. Axel got their lead up to as much as eight in this fourth quarter, but so far it is a tied game. 40 seconds left. Shaughnessy inside. Shaughnessy left-handed layup up and down for Colin Shaughnessy. Eight points now for the sophomore here in this fourth quarter. Two-point advantage, Eagles. Down the baseline goes Carson Scheimer. Misses. Wyatt Detweiler comes away with it. And a foul will be called and sending Wyatt Detweiler to the line for two free throws. Carson Scheimer, who has, let me do it real quick, 19 points so far, 18 points, excuse me, so far here in this one. The big man at 26 last night, going to get that one to go. Now at the line, Wyatt Detweiler. Biggest free throw so far as his career upcoming for the freshman. Scoreless so far here tonight. Sinks the first free throw. The first one is always the toughest as Detweiler knocks it down. 
second one can move it to a two-possession game. Dyton has no timeouts left. Detweiler calmly takes a breath. Second one down for the freshman. Big free throws there for Detweiler. Gives Axel a four-point advantage. 22 seconds left. Daniel Kramer across the timeline with 38. Looking for 41. Three ball. No, short. Eli Rockman board. He's running it out and fouled. And an intentional foul will be called. And the Eagles will more than likely hold on to this last contest, barring anything strange in the final 13 seconds. Boy, Daniel Kramer. 38 points for the junior so far here in this one. Got stepped on at about 120 left. Had a little tweak in that foot. If he would have hit that one, would have brought the house down for a dying crown that came an hour and a half. As it stands, though, personal foul will be called on Jason Mee. That's going to be his third on the intentional. And at the line will be Eli Broxerman. All triples so far tonight for Broxman, 21 points. His first trip to the line here in this fourth quarter goes down on the first free throw. Five-point advantage, Axel. Second one upcoming can move it to six. Grant Bussing will check in the 6-2 senior. He will check out Grady Bussing. Senior for senior there, getting his last action here at State. Eli Broxerman, the junior, leading the way with 22. Can he make it 23? And he does. 23 now for Eli Broxerman. Six-point advantage. Eagles and Axel will hold on to this ball. Dying their first trip to the state title since 2016. Their best finish was fourth in 1992. And it looks like that's where this squad will be at at the end of this. Almost a near steal is taken, though. Detweiler holds on to it, kicks it out to Broxerman across the timeline with eight. Eli will be not, no, he will be fouled. One last time, we'll send Eli Broxerman to the line for two free throws and to pretty much seal this deal for the Axel Eagles. Walking off the court for the last time, Carson Scheimer checks out with five personal fouls. 18 points for the big man here in this one as he fouls out in the final five seconds. Big standing ovation and a big head hug from his head coach as a senior that has put so much work in the last four years. Gets a good standing ovation from his home squad. Broxman at the line, knocks down the first free throw. 24 now for the junior. He will be back. Colin Shaughnessy will be back. Brandon Schmelzley will be back. Wyatt Detweiler, Logan Sandman, and Landon Schmitz all back for next year's squad for this Axel team. Daniel Kramer will check out. 37 points for the junior here in this one. Did all that he could for nine, but Axel was too much. And curtain calls now upcoming for both of these squads. Here comes Axel. Big standing ovation now upcoming for the Eagles. Dalton Heinen will check in along with Blaze Bussing, Lucas Talbot, and Brandon Schmel. Or excuse me, not Schmelsley. You're right there. Free throw up for Broxman. Knocks down the second. Eli now with 25 as he will take a seat to the bench. Gavin Shaughnessy will check in. Five seconds left to go. Window dressing here for Dine. Will a three be put up? We're going to go down low. Baseline turnaround shot. No good. And Axel, the 1A Division II third place finisher here with an 80 to 72 win over Dine in the third and fourth place game. Eagles trailed by three at halftime, led by Brant, Eli Broxerman. With 24 points, the Eagles are victorious here in Great Bend. We're going to take our final timeout, bring it right back here to recap this contest as well as preview action from elsewhere around the state here today. Again, Axel victorious over Dyton, 80 to 72. When you start a plumbing or electrical project, make sure that you have what you need to get the job done. If you don't have everything you need, Hometown Lumber in Marysville and Axel Lumber can help. Stocking a full line of electrical wiring, switches, boxes, and everything to the fixtures and even light bulbs. For that plumbing task, there's pipes, connectors and joints, faucets, toilets, and accessories. From an installation or remodel to a simple repair, get the plumbing and electrical supplies you need at one stop at Hometown Lumber in Marysville and Axtell Lumber. 
Since 1976, Olmstead Real Estate and Auctions has been your farm and home marketing team. Let the experienced family team of Tom and Rob Olmstead and brother-in-law Tom Kirkland guide you when buying or selling a home or farmland. Delivering timely, honest, and professional guidance, visit olmsteadrealestate.com to view current listings and auctions. Your farm and home marketing team is Olmstead Real Estate and Auctions. Little Steps Dance and Gymnastics Studio opens summer class enrollment March 15th. Engage your child in a fun, active environment during the summer with tumbling, cheer, jazz, and dance classes. From ages 18 months to 18 years, enroll in summer classes at littlestepsdance.com by March 15th. KNDY has been your sports leader of local teams since the days of leather helmets. Well, okay, not that long, but since the days before the Blue Valley and Nemaha Valley Leagues combined, for over 40 years, KNDY has been your source for scores, interviews, and live play-by-play -play action of your favorite teams all season long. The game and technology may have changed, but our coverage remains the same. KNDY, your area sports leader, on air, online, and on our mobile app. Hey, congratulations, of course, to the Dighton Hornets. They end this season 23-4. and Under head coach Tyler Ling, a senior in the 2016 squad, the last time this Dighton team was at the state tournament, leads his team to a fourth-place finish, their best in school history after they fall 80-72 to to Axel here in the third and fourth place game. A big, of course, congratulations to the Axel Eagles, too, as well, as they will finish off this season 22, 23, excuse me, 23 and 3 on the year. Eagles trailed this one at the end of one quarter. It was 22 to 15. Axel outscored nine. 18 to 14 in the second quarter. They outscored a 19 to 17 in the fourth quarter and then outscored them. Or no, Dine actually outscored Axel 27 to 20 in the final quarter, but it was late free throws by Eli Brocksterman that led to this win for the Axel Eagles squad. He's going to end the night as your leading scorer with 25 points on this contest. As the Axel Eagles are your third place finisher in class of 1A Division II. Looking at scoring from this contest here, waiting on getting stat sheets here in just a little bit. So we'll go ahead and preview the rest of the day for you. It does continue on FM 95.5 over on our sister station. KU Jayhawks will tip off about 2.30 there as they get college basketball underway. We'll be back here, though, tonight from Great Bend as the Hanover Lady Wildcats will look for their second straight championship in Class 1A. Division 2 at 6.15. They will face off against the team they faced last year in Lebo. While right here on AM 1570 FM 94.1, the Frankfurt Lady Wildcats will match up against South Gray, or Little River, excuse me, beat South Gray last night in the 1A Division 1 championship from Colby. Again, that's here at 6.15. Going to do some quick stats here. We're still getting stat scores figured out. Dyton was led by Daniel Kramer, who had 38 points in this contest. He had 19 at halftime and continued to let it roll into the second half. Almost made the comeback bid for Dyton. Big man Daniel Kramer down low ends the night with... 20 points to his name at 26 the other night, but it wasn't enough. Peyton Redburn pitches in six points, while George Van Leonroyd pitched in three and one point from Jace Ming. Nine is zero three-point shots here in this contest. They were 0 for 9 from behind the line, but on the other side, that's how Axel made it happen. They were led by Eli Brocksterman 
with 25 points here in this contest. They were all from behind the three-point line, minus four late free throws in that contest. Two points for Wyatt Detweiler, and what two big points they were. Two free throws late for the freshman sent Axel to the winner's circle here, getting their medals. Brandon Schmelzley had himself a nice game, too, as well, as he finishes off with 14 points. 14 points from Colin Shaughnessy. Eight points from Grady Bushing. Ten points for Landon Schmitz and six points for Logan Sandman. They're all in the first half. Miscommunication, actually. Brandon Schmelzley with 15 here in this one. Axel shot the ball 41% from the field. They hit 13 threes. Dighton, zero threes, 44% from the field. Axel lived off the second chance points and the offensive rebound. They out-rebounded Dighton here in this one. 46-35 to 35 led to 20 second chance points by the Eagles. And Axel finishes their season 23-3 and with an 80-72 to 72 win over Dighton in the Class 1A Division II Boys third and fourth place contest. A big group for this Axel Eagle squad will be back next year, including Eli Broxman, Colin Shaughnessy, and Brandon Schmelzley. Congratulations to the two seniors this year, Grady and Grant Abyssing, a freshman year that saw them go sub-500 and now back-to-back seasons of 20-plus wins for this Axel Eagles squad. That will do it here from Barton in our first contest of the afternoon. Reminder, we will be back here at 6.15 for the Hanover Lady Wildcats versus Lebo. That game will be on FM 95.5 right here on AM 1570, FM 94.1. Frankfurt Lady Wildcats will tip off against Little River for a chance at a championship game. Reporting from Great Bend, Kansas, Barton Community College, it's been a wonderful weekend. I thank you all for tuning in and appreciation to our sponsors that made this broadcast possible, b and Buildings, Axel Car Wash, Little Joe's Service, Eagle HVAC and Plumbing, Western National Bank, Axel Trust, SBS Insurance of Seneca, Moonlight Restoration, Hometown Lumber of Marysville and Axel Lumber, Rob Olmstead at Olmstead Real Estate Group, Little Steps Dance Studio, as well as Blue Valley Technologies, Kramer Oil Company, Little or Tunnel Creek Outdoors of Randolph, Blue Valley Trailers, Highland Community College, J.D. Construction, Landolph Company, and Kinsley Mortuary. Again, Axel winning 80-72. to They claim a third-place finish in Class 1A Division II boys' action. Reporting from Great Bend, Kansas, this has been Max Blasty. Thank you all for tuning in all week. We'll see you again here about 6-15 as high school basketball action rolls on this weekend on KNDY. At your service 24-7, on air, online, and on our mobile app. News, weather, sports, and more. Yours from KNDY.